I don't know what drugs they're smoking in Washington, D.C., but they must be great drugs because everyone up there is delusional. I swear. I'm sorry, y'all. This isn't going to be informative. It's not going to be educational. I'm, I'm mad. I am pissed off. I am frustrated because <laughs> these politicians think we're stupid and they just insult our intelligence over and over and over again. They have the audacity to stand up and say, we've got to ban TikTok because we're worried about Americans' data. China's spying on Americans through TikTok and they're taking their data and we got to keep our citizens safe. And then they have the audacity to make a demand like that and tell Chinese shareholders the only way TikTok doesn't get banned is if you sell your shares in the company. Fascinating. Fascinating. And tell me, tell me, little politicians, who's going to buy up those empty shares? Who? Mm. Fun. Fun. Love it. Love it. <laughs> it was never about data. Because my thing is, this data that they talk about has never been explained to me. What is this data that China is stealing? Are they stealing my bank account information? Because I have $30 to my name. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. What, what is China spying on? Is that, are they spying on me crying myself to sleep every night? Is, is my horrible mental health vital to their world domination plan? The reason this is happening is because American tech companies are mad that this Chinese tech company is beating them. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, they keep trying to copy TikTok and they keep failing. They keep failing. Mark Zuckerberg is just mad because he's not getting all of our moolah. He wants all of us running over to his little metaverse hellscape. Baby, I will die before I do that. I don't trust Mark Zuckerberg with anything, anything. Um, I can't help but think that maybe if American politicians spent half as much time talking about real issues as they did talking about the possible threat from China, we would be uh, far better off. <laughs> Listen, I was raised to believe that Americans were supposed to be brave and strong, but right now all I'm seeing is a bunch of whiny little cowards that want to make themselves out to be a victim, which is just lame.